Welcome back to the video. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas. And today we're going to do my top 10 Christmas movies <laughs> for Christmas. And this is just my top 10. This is not anybody else's top 10. Not the national top 10. Not a poll of top 10. This is just my top 10 favorite movies for Christmas. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. For number 10, we got Friday After Next, which was, of course, an adult film, but it was really funny to me, uh, starring Ice Cube and Mike Epps, which released in 2002. This is one of the funniest movies I think I've, I've ever seen with that crew in it. It was my favorite of the Friday, the whole trilogy or the whole uh, system of Fridays. It was my favorite. So. I give it a 10 out of 10, definitely recommend for that. Coming in at number nine was This Christmas, and that is This Christmas with Chris Brown. Um, it was a really good movie. I did love the storyline. Um, some of the acting was a little shaky from some of the actors, uh, namely the security guards, but uh, or not the security guards, but the bodyguards or the guys who were trying to get the money from his brother. But all in all, a really good movie. I definitely give this one a 10 out of 10 as well. By the way, all of these movies will have a 10 out of 10 because they're my top 10. <laughs> Coming in at number nine. Oh, sorry. Coming in at number eight is Eight Crazy Nights, no pun intended, starring Adam Sandler. Of course, this was one of the most hilarious cartoons I think I've ever seen. Um, a little vulgar, so I wouldn't recommend it for a younger child. However, for an adult, this was definitely a 10 out of 10. Coming in at number seven, a top movie among many people, which was Home Alone. And this was the first one with Macaulay Culkin, um, which was his breakthrough movie part, I believe. Um, was this his breakthrough? I think it was. And this was one of the best Home Alones to me. I didn't care for the other Home Alones. Um, I really loved the first one. It shined and he shined in this movie. So definitely a 10 out of 10. It released in 1990, by the way. And coming in at number six, was How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Not the Grinch, not the cartoon one. This is the one with, of course, Jim Carrey, the man who played the Grinch, and he played the best Grinch there is out there. Absolutely one of the best movies with him in it. There are a lot of movies that I like with him in it, but the How the Grinch Stole Christmas is one of my favorites. That released in 2000 as well. Absolutely great movie, 10 out of 10. Coming in at number five is going to be Nightmare Before Christmas with my boy Jack. And of course, that was a really good movie as well. Now, this movie comes from more of my childhood, so I'm showing my age, not really childhood, but when I was a lot younger. Um, this was one of my favorite movies uh, to see around Christmas time. I don't know why they showed it around Christmas time, but they also showed it around Halloween. Um, so it can be considered either a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. Um, but all in all, a really good movie. Um, Definitely a 10 out of 10 recommend. Coming in at number four, I'm just going to switch it up just a little bit. It's not necessarily a Christmas movie. However, it was filmed during Christmas. So that's why I consider it as one of my top 10 Christmas movies, The Gremlins. And of course, not just The Gremlins, but Gremlins. And this would be the very first one, um, which of course with uh, Zach Gallagher, which was a really good movie wonderful wonderful storyline this movie released in 1989 so it's a little bit older so i'm definitely showing my age on that however still a 10 out of 10. coming in at number three one of the most insane christmas movies i think i've ever seen and one of the most crazy actors i think i ever watched and it's elf with will ferrell um i don't know about you but my favorite favorite part of this movie has to be where he keeps calling the little guy elf and he gets extremely mad and just lunges at him off of the table um so definitely a 10 out of 10 definitely for adults <laughs> but nonetheless still an awesome movie coming in at number two and this has to be one of the funniest movies that i've ever seen with my sister starring vince vaughn and reese witherspoon released in 2008 i actually saw this movie the second day it was at the movie theater and we laughed so loud and so hard. I'm pretty sure those people in the theater thought we were absolutely fatty. But it's for Christmases. And 
I don't know what I had to say about this one other than insanely funny. All of these movies were insanely funny to me. They always, always make me laugh. And so this is why I watch every single one of these movies during Christmas time. And I've actually watched all of them except for Nightmare Before Christmas, which is really odd because I actually own that on Apple TV. So I think, which, sorry, that's so serious. We'll watch. <laughs> I guess he was listening to anyway that's the only movie that i haven't seen this nightmare before christmas this season so i'll actually watch that probably christmas eve i think with, with the boys so we'll see and of course that was released in 2008 if i did not already say that and for the number one movie my number one christmas movie of all time that i watch all year long it does not have to be christmas i own this movie i bought this movie five or six times I watch it during the year, all the year. I don't, I watch it all, all year. I don't have to watch it for Christmas time. But believe it or not, since December, I have seen it probably 17 times. And that's not even exaggerating. It may be more than that. However, I think I watched it two times in one day. So it's my all time favorite. I love this movie and I love the actor. I'll watch anything that he makes. I don't care if nobody thinks he's not funny. He's hilarious to me. And the number one or my number one Christmas movie is drum roll please and you should have got it from there national lampoon christmas vacation which of course released in 1989 which i saw when i was a young 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 kid and this has always been extremely funny so i didn't get a chance to see it when i was uh, when it first came out um, i didn't see it until i think i was in the uh seventh or eighth grade but I have loved this movie ever since I watched it all through high school and I've watched it every, 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 every single year since I've been an adult. And uh, I hope my kids love it because I make them watch it all the time. But that's my top 10 Christmas movies. And that completes day 13 of Vlogmas. Hope to see you tomorrow in day 14 of Vlogmas. Have a great day.